Hi there. What's going on? Well, got coat hangers. Coat hangers all over my arm, but there's also going to be food involved, not with the coat hangers, but in the week. Welcome back to another Large Family Meals of the Week. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If you need support, especially during challenging times, please check out betterhelp.com forward slash jmorell. Not only does using this link support our channel, but you also get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. We are going to get, I think this is the last two freezer meal things besides those sourdough pizzas in my very sad and lonely freezer meal freezer. We have taco meat. We are doing mm -hmm, super mega tacos. I have a small Walmart grocery pickup order this afternoon also for more taco shells and fill in things and such. But today, right now, I am working on my closet, filling the bags for the thrift stores, keeping only what I want, doing a bunch of decluttering. We got more demo. We're having dinners and demo this week. More demo going on in the house. The painter is here. So only two different contractors companies are here today, but painter is here doing the second coat of mustard on all of the doors. And I think it's gonna need a third coat by how the one set of doors that had two coats dried i just could see some streaks so he's working through all of that our other building company ha is going through now and taking out my very sad and little cleaning closet it was actually a good bit of room though and it had like one of the, the 1963 iron in the wall that came out but see that wasn't usable space they're gutting all of that so exciting because I'm actually getting a new baby laundry room like a little laundry room and the door is going to close you can walk in it it's going to have shelves there's going to be baskets the stackable washer and dryer are now going to be side by side and there's going to be a folding table on top it's glorious I'm excited and there's tacos how could it be a better week hey friends Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Head to betterhelp.com forward slash jmorell. Not only does that help support my channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. As you know, life is full of ups and downs. Especially during this difficult season of my life, I have found healing through personal therapy, especially therapy for trauma and grief. We don't have to go through these hard times alone. And sometimes the challenges we face can be very overwhelming. And it's okay to seek help. And that's why I'm thankful that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is a great platform that connects you with licensed therapists suited for your needs. You can have sessions over the phone, video chat, or even messaging. It's whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And if you feel you need to switch therapist, you're able to do so at any time with no extra cost. It's a convenient, affordable way to connect with professional guidance right when you need it. Just like how we plan meals for physical nourishment, taking steps for our mental well-being is critical. If this sounds like something that could support you, especially during these challenging times, head to betterhelp.com forward slash jmorell. Not only does using this link help support my channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Whether you're going through a tough time and you need someone to talk to, BetterHelp makes it easier to access therapy from anywhere. Mental health is a journey and it's an important one. So don't hesitate to seek help to get the support you need. Get started today. Click the first link in the description of this video and head to betterhelp.com forward slash jmorell. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and supporting our community. So now I'm working away, organizing my closet, filling bags for the thrift store, and just helping some things make sense around here. Well, today lots of things are happening here, a whole other projects, but focusing on this exterior renovation video production that we've been doing for the last five weeks or so, let's have a look at what's happening. Oh, I gotta scooch around the door. Okay, so the third coat of the mustard has gone on these kitchen doors. So these are going to just be open for the day while they dry. Same thing with that very back door. And of course the cats are loving this. And then this is the sample shutters that he got. 
he did one coat on there so he's gonna let that dry and do another coat and just see how they look I'm gonna make the decision on whether I'm going forward with the the shutter project or not we shall see because because the reason I'm saying that is everything just looks so nice even without them so and I know Time's marching on and we got other projects happening. So we're doing this test shutter batch, but here's the front door and this has had its second coat. So it'll need a third, but it's just gonna stay there and like it all day. All right, I am taking a break after all that closet cleaning. Still got another hour or more to roll through stuff on my project list, but I'm stopping. This is cauliflower rice and this is like a little shrimp and vegetable and more cauliflower rice meal that I added on top of it, mixed it all up, that's my mama lunch. Also, I got a whole stack of toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwiches coming at them hot, going outside per request, and we have a bag of clementines out there. Nice sunshine day, gonna be 80 degrees here in Virginia, now that it's October, ha ha. So now on this evening, I have put two of my gallon freezer bags of the taco meat that we made earlier this summer in my big red Dutch oven here. And you'll see here is my little, my baby Walmart order. On this evening, we got more fruit, we got more milk. We are just living the Walmart grocery pickup order life. Got more French fries, taco shells, cat food, chocolate milk, bananas, yogurt. Told the kids, just tell me everything we need and let's get this order and we will go pick it up. Now this is cute. I thought I was getting like regular soft shell tacos and those were smaller than my hand. They were the street tacos. And so not exactly <laughs> what I was looking for. Look at this. So they tore out my cleaning closet and the old um, ironing board, which was not functional here in 2023. And so that is where they are going to set back the washer and the dryer. And they're going to make a whole room out of this area. And we just have so many wonderful projects coming up. There will be another wall there. They will use the pocket door. You'll see that coming up. They're gonna build another wall in the front. And it's gonna be a very nice, yeah, that's where the washer and dryer were on the other side of the baby kitchen. They are gonna be moved over. And then if you look up here, you still see the hello, happy tree coming through the ceiling. <laughs> so many projects. That's where when the tree went through, it knocked that drywall down. Not related to the other construction projects we had going on, but yeah, a little extra fun and excitement. And that's how the old baby kitchen area is looking now with it all torn out. Well, hello there, happy new day. Mama has a banana. It perfect weather we are going hiking on yeah three different trails might also end up at a playground also we have an ice cream place that the kids love to eat at I mean who doesn't love to get double scoop ice cream cones at Baskin Robbins when you're hiking all day so we're gonna do that too let's go and so this is our first trail that we went hiking on this is a nice paved one and it has a beautiful top of the mountain overlook and lots of nice rocks and logs and trees and things to climb along the path along the way we like to get different pictures at our favorite spots and there's some leaves that were already turning red and we just do this trail I think it ends up being three quarters of a mile or a mile it's not not super long but even the toddler can do it it's a nice fun trail and the next one that we go on is a gravel trail that has some creek within it. And so it's fun in the summer. The kids will stop and splash and play in that. And then the third trail that we go on is also paved. And it'll be a total of three miles, which we did not do the whole that whole three miles on this day. But we did part of it, which was a whole lot of fun. I even had some kids that brought some roller skates on this day. And on the third paved hike that we did, two of my kiddos roller skated some as well. Well, you gotta love a walking trail that also has cows in the middle of it. So there, there's a nice big bull there in the shade. And here we are, we came home to even more trees. 
are being removed. You know, I had the six or seven big trees in front of the house and along the sides. And so we're getting those removed. Okay, before I go outside in my new running shoes that I'm walking in, but I'm running a little bit. I already got some stuff on the toe this morning anyway. I'm gonna go march for several hours, but hey, look, I'm cooking dinner. I am getting two, these, well, I guess they are three pounds each. Okay, I'm doing six pounds of Italian sausage and beef lasagna. These say, they're also microwavable, uh, but look at these cooking skills. Preheat oven to 375. Hey, let's do that. Let's see, let's use the bigger oven, why not? Nope, let's turn it all on the right side, okay. And look at this, turn the dial, 375. Thank you, Costco, for cooking dinner. Uh, we're gonna take this little sheet off, cut a two inch slit in the film, place the baking tray in the middle rack, cook for 55 minutes. Then we're gonna remove the cover, let it bake for another five minutes, 10 minutes, and let it stand. So, and then look, cook and tell, our favorite temperature reaches an internal temperature of 100. 65 degrees so thank you Costco for lasagna I meant to get these in the slow cooker earlier today just to have them for my sweet potato folks for lunches or whatever we didn't get to it but they let's let's see how many days they'll sit here and I'm in layers happy October ish uh, it is pretty cold and rainy today but I did almost 15 miles yesterday I did like 14.6, I did 33,000 steps, and I did that, I did that mainly by starting walking. Um, we went to church, we went to the pizza buffet, and we went to the playground. At the playground they have a track, and teens and kids were playing, having a great old time, and while they did that, I just, like the track is around, the playground's in the middle, track's around it. And so I just did laps for the whole hour that they played, and I got three miles done. And then I came home, and then later that evening, well, probably about four or so, I started on my marching, and I walked until about 8.30, and of course listened to a lot of stuff, said a lot of prayers, all of that, um, while I walked. So, at least tonight, we'll have lasagna. And hey, another day, another tree that's not gonna fall on the house. For the children and I this winter, we are thankful for that. There, somewhere out there is their equipment. Oh, there it is. They grind it all up and they leave it for me as mulch. And other new developments. So you see here, they were able to reuse the pocket door. Of course, there's gonna be drywall and all of that, but look what's behind the pocket door. What? So they are, oh, oh, this is yesterday's development. Wow. So I know this is not a huge laundry room. I wanted a bigger living room and this is still going to be the best laundry room I've ever had. So we did them side by side. This is gonna have a folding table on it. This whole thing is gonna be deep with shelves. Uh, we're probably gonna, I'm gonna probably do like, have them do the wall unit where we can do like, what am I trying to say? We don't use a Swiffer right now, but we do need like three or four brooms at a time. But so like some kind of broom duster type unit. Um, and then here, so they, they bumped this wall out a little bit. Um, that's gonna be, that is the electrical plug for, um, we're gonna do the TV here. And yeah, see there's a door. I'm gonna do the TV here. So wait, we have a door there. Uh, this is where the TV is gonna be. And then we have all this space. I mean, obviously flooring and such is coming. Uh, got my insurance information back yesterday. And of course insurance is covering this and checks are in the mail and my contractor is going to take care of our little tree through the roof situation when it rained uh, this weekend, you know. Yeah, I had to put a towel down. There were some little drips and this will all be new flooring. But <clears throat> here's how it's gonna look. Drywall, I'm gonna of course, they're, you know, fixing the ceiling doing electrical, doing the things. I thought that would be a nice area to push a couch. Um, and then, I mean, this is the reality of, you know, construction in the middle of a room. Um, but we have room and walls. Chicken sisters are still there. And once all this stuff is out, this whole thing is going to be a nice big living room for us. But this is how the laundry room is progressing. Hi, I'm gonna show you the one thing that I get at our local fast food restaurant, and during this season of my life, there's some days I get this once and some days twice a day. 
and it is what keeps me alive right now. So this is the double bacon cheeseburger from Hardee's with no bun wrapped in lettuce. And when I eat this, I'm good for like six or seven hours. But if I have a work day um, where I'm out in town and stuff, I mean, I might have one like mid-morning and one at night before I head back home. Don't do that every day. But most days I'm going through and getting one of these because I just, I'll have times where like I cannot cook for myself, can't even, can't even think. So Hardee's, I tell them, thanks guys, you're, you're feeding me, you're keeping me alive during this time. And then this next part will be funny. So um, I'm doing a class one night a week right now, and it's only for, for four weeks. Um, and then we have a little showcase at the end, so that's just a fun, fun mama thing. But last night, I picked up a Walmart grocery pickup order on the way home, and our freezer is now full of freezer meals. They are survival freezer meals because, again, we love them, but I can't do them right now. So we have easy dinners and easy breakfast, and then we have lunch components, and that's also how I'm feeding the family and how we're making it through right now. Okay, friends, so we've got extra crickets singing to us this morning, but look look at how this frazzled mom has filled my freezer with, with easy freezer meals. Are you ready? <gasps> wow, not the freezer cooking that I want to do, but the freezer cooking that's saving our lives right now. We've got, look at this. <laughs> I got to laugh at the crickets too. We've got an easy, we got a chicken broccoli pasta bake. We've got waffles. We've got seasoned fries. We've got regular fries. We've got tater tots. We've got fish sticks. We've got chicken parmesan. A couple of those. We got this crispy honey chicken. We've got tater tots. We've got enchiladas. French toast bites, Salisbury steaks. I mean, you know, this is hilarious, isn't it? Bake ziti, there's some nuggets back there, more chicken alfredo, mac and cheese. Oh, and the, what's left of the tomatoes that we're gonna eventually can. Of my true freezer meals, all I have left, we've still never done these sourdoughs from this summer. I mean, they're fully cooked. We need to get those out. We've got 16 personal, pan, personal sourdough pizzas total. And then I have one little wheezy bag of spaghetti sauce left. Oh, and I guess I must have one cabbage lasagna there. And that's some of the Kevin's freezer meals we got from um, Costco. What else is back here? Oh, pancakes. Mm -hmm, those great value pancakes. So when you're in crisis, if you cannot take a couple hundred dollars to fill your freezer full of homemade freezer meals, you can take a couple hundred dollars and fill your freezer full of we're going to make it through freezer meals. I do hope that I've done this several times. I do hope I don't have to do another one of these grocery pickups. I hope that um, really truly in our future we can get back to filling these with homemade freezer meals. But hey, no shame in this mama game. We are making it through and that's what matters. That being said, I have French toast bites, breakfast request from some little fellas, and we're gonna throw some fruit with it. We got apples, we got clementines, we got cowgirl boots that can open and close doors, haha. -ha. So that's all you need in life. Okay, I got a screaming baby, but also we don't have a tree sticking all the way through now, so life improvements. And so here I am giving the stove a clean on this day and getting some sweet potatoes in the slow cooker because that's one of our favorite ways to do it. So easy, no brainer. They're just ready in a couple hours. Okay, friends, it is a big day. This has been a long time coming. I have not shown you my whole pile, but for like two months now, I've had a pile, a mountain pile that has grown and I just pulled it all back in, pulled it all back in. I'm so proud of me, ha ha. But we have found the whole 12 foot island again. That is exciting. Um, I feel like someone will say something about the lights under the cabinets. So they're just turned off right now. And um, that is all, but it's a beautiful sunshine day. And we're also having some sweet potatoes for those who want them with lunch. I'm gonna have mine with um, some of this Nancy's probiotic low fat cottage cheese. And that'll be a THM, Trim Healthy Mama e-meal. And I've got, yeah, I'm gonna have that big potato. Woo, 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 just steamed up the camera, huh? It's like. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but we have been having a good cleaning morning through this room and the whole house, and the rooster's happy. We are pleased. We have some fall flowers doing their thing. A good friend of mine dropped these off for me at my gate the other day, which I appreciated. 
And I think, did we grow all these pumpkins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so these are, look at us. We did it, I think that's actually a little acorn squash. And this was our first pumpkin that came in like in the spring. It's getting squishy and so uh, one of my kiddos is gonna take this to their goat and they will love that. Okay, you're either gonna love this or be totally grossed out. Okay, this is my lunch. I'm taking the kids, we're going to some parks and doing some hiking and gonna get ice cream. Uh, but anyway, there's my sweet potato and there is, uh, I have words. I said ice cream, that distracted me. I'm not having ice cream. The kids are having ice cream. The low fat cottage cheese. So this is a Trim Healthy Mama e-meal. Um, I do have, sorry, construction going on in the house, of course, door slamming, lots going on. I do have Swerve, that's what it is. It's uh, like a no, I, I do have words, I really do, but today, today's a high emotional day. Okay, there, there's the red face that matches my shirt, and that's why we're gonna get out for a little bit. But it's, uh, can you bring me that Swerve, sweetie? What is it? The Swerve, the brown sugar, oh. the brown sugar substitute. It's not monk fruit, but here it is. You can get it on Amazon. I use it for sugar-free baking and such. So it's a zero calorie um, brown sugar, zero sugar and calories, plant-based, keto-friendly, one to one measures like brown sugar. So I'm going to also sprinkle some of this on my sweet potato. Those are my words. We can do this. Yay. Well, we are back. Didn't get, a, I took my camera with me. I was like, again, can I speak? <laughs> took my camera with me, because I thought, I'll get some clips of us at the playgrounds and get an ice cream, and just forgot to do that. So we're home now. We're gonna go to our well-stocked freezer meal freezer, snort, ha ha, and get something for dinner, and eat dinner, and then I'm gonna get to walking. I did break my goal of getting over 35,000 steps, so we're doing things. Also, laundry room is coming along. They're working on the drywall. You see the laundry's already, already having fun living there. But again, there will be shelving in here, um, broom holder here, all kinds of nice little things. And they put a plug in for me there because this wall, sorry, I was interrupted. What was I saying? <laughs> Mom life, I had to put a plug there. So this is gonna be our TV wall, which will be nice. And you hear them tapping up top. Oh look, they got, got a little patch in there already. Um, this is temporary, but they're doing some work up on the roof. Okay, big things happening, but again, drywall. Drywall is what they're, things, things that are happening now. All righty, let's see. What is happening in here? Hmm. What shall it be? Quick and easy. Kids are having a game and movie night tonight. I tell you, living the life, we will throw some more french fries in and we will have these little um, backyard barbecue boneless patties. They've never had these before, but I'm sure they'll like them. Okay, remember, you learn your cooking skills here. Okay. 425 20 minutes so we will get that on like I say today today's a big feeling day lots of feelings here today I have lots of feelings today so we're getting by but we did go through um, let's see these I'm gonna put the microwave we did go to three different playgrounds and had ice cream and had a nice fun time so that was good. Okay, knife, yay, to cut the film. But I don't think, let's see. Microwave on high. Oh, slit filmed event. Okay, we, we can do this, we can read directions. So I got the, uh, the fun little mystery meat, haha, -ha, going in the microwave while the french fries finished up in the oven. So I have liked both the chicken and the steak Kevin's freezer meals that we got at Costco about a month or so ago together. And then I'm also gonna do these. Anyone is able to have any of this if they would like. Not everyone likes collie rice and steak tips or wants that when there's french fries, but I do have, this is gluten-free. And so some folks, including mama, will have this. It's fully cooked, but it has directions to um, heat it through in a skillet. So hey, we know how to do that, and I think I'm capable of that this evening.
Also, the bottom of this refrigerator, you can just see the signs. It, it was, yeah, things have happened. It had stories to tell. So, <laughs> we are, we have gotten everything that was in the bottom out. And I'm doing some wipe downs while we are finishing up a few more dinner things. It's like, boy, refrigerator, you didn't know what you were going to get. You just thought you were going to be a commercial refrigerator. You did not know the depths. I think there was a cup of chocolate milk that had spilled and that just got the party started in here. Alrighty, we got a loud fan on because I'm still cooking that meat over there with that gluten-free sauce, but round one, got some fries. What is that called? Ketchup. Mystery meat and some barbecue sauce and some sliced apples. There's the fruit. Focus on the fruit, not the mystery meat or the survival french fries. But we do have, we are pairing it with organic ketchup. So, Happy dinner number one, yay. And I use my Dawn Power Wash to spray out the bottom of this refrigerator and then a hot soapy washcloth to get everything out of there because yeah, it, it needed a deep mama scrubbing. And if I remember correctly, this is a 47 cubic foot commercial refrigerator and I got it at Lowe's when we did this big kitchen remodel in 2022. Was it 2022? Yes, it was. Okay, yay. See, this giant commercial refrigerator, it thought it was gonna live its life in a restaurant, something fun like that. Instead, it's getting to live its life here in Jamerell's Mega Mama Kitchen, and uh, it has stories to tell. It has had mega food adventures, so it's just requiring some extra scrubbing. You know that we have fit two 20-quart roaster ovens full of bone broth in here before during its cool-down period and all those tomatoes that we canned while we worked through that. This refrigerator has seen a lot. Okay, so I'm back from having a long work evening and mom food mom food at bedtime good morning friends it is coffee o'clock and look at this i went into costco last night just to pick up some cookies and some fruit for a church thing and we needed to you know bring a side dish to share and of course i'm not really cooking right now haha -ha. so uh but while i was there look what fell into my cart aren't these cute remember maybe two that's and that's a uh, good morning coffee brewing over there I think maybe two years ago or so, Costco had kind of similar sets. Um, I think they were more, I'm gonna say more poetic looking, I don't know. They just had these cute sets with these animals dressed in different ways and this must be the 2023 version and it's just hilarious. I love it, look at the look at the llama. Okay, so anyway, I've got, I just got this over here with our dishes. So. When we do get uh, the first load going for today, we will get these washed and yay Costco, I believe they're $14.99. We have the, the sound of our people here. Also, hello, fall flannel. I'm gonna layer that this morning as I go out and do my early morning walking. And so now here I am later that day, you know, I've been sandwiching my walking in a lot of times early morning and later in the evening, uh, or if that's not possible, it'll all be in the evening, just depends on the day. But I've been getting the miles and the steps in most days for sure. Now on this day, I felt like my whole kitchen really needed a deep, deep mama scrubbing. And so I got a hot soapy washcloth, wiped down all of my quartz countertops, wiped down all of the tile backsplash, I also worked on wiping down my cabinets and the biggest thing I wanted to work on was I wanted to wipe down my big commercial stove hood there. You know, I had that hood made by a company in North Carolina and then it's actually a, a Z-Line commercial range hood that's underneath. And so 
it gets dusty. And so what I'm doing is I'm wiping each section off with a dry cloth. And then once I get a good load of dust off, then I go over with a hot soapy cloth and then I dry it. And I do that over each of these ridged sections over the entire hood. And it's honestly probably been six or eight months since I've done this. And you couldn't tell unless you got right up on it and were staring. And I knew this was a good time on this day for me to get this done. And so we just continue to go through the process, dry cloth first, then a wet cloth, then another dry cloth and continue on till it's all sparkling. And now I'm getting the, the side of the hood there. And of course, short girl problems, all five foot four, I have to just crawl up on the countertop to get those little corners there with our little kitchen spider webs. But it looks so much better. And I'd like to say we'd do it again before six months, but probably not. We'll see you again in six months hood there. And here we have some cooking evidence from various family members over the last several days. And so I just go ahead and take the time, probably the second time for this week in particular, to take the whole stove apart and give everything a good hot soapy wash down. I just go ahead and put all of those grates in the sink and wash them up over there. And then I take a hot soapy washcloth over to the stove itself and work on cleaning that and wiping that down. And now after all that cleaning, I am giving my sink a good scrub down also. Again, the Dawn Power Wash, <laughs> spraying it all down and scrubbing it with my metal brush there. And yep, it's all sparkling when I'm done. And now I'm just taking some time to wipe down the outside of my stove. And from the future, I'm really jealous of having two working hands because I don't know if you've seen it on my Instagram or not. That's as far as I've gotten to share in the, share in the little, the little fun adventure. But I, I fell a few days ago and I have broke my left wrist in two places. I know that's what we needed, right? Yay. So you'll be seeing my new left wrist situation in upcoming videos. And this video, as I'm watching, I'm like, wow, look at that. I'm sweeping with two hands and I lifted my big cast iron pans and yeah, wow. And so I am so thankful though that um, I can still walk. <laughs> so I can still get my good walking in because I definitely need my big walk in every day for my mental health and I'm thankful. Even with a broken wrist, I can still walk. And even though you know my hopes and dreams were to get more more big cooking going, guess what? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know about 2023 big cooking attempts. I don't know how it's going to go. I think we're going to have some more Walmart freezer meals in our future. I do hope also to just do some very simple slow cooker dinners and instant pot dinners, things I can just dump and go. You know, I've had years and years online of showing, sharing those recipes as well. So even if they're not done in advance, that's, that's my plan. That's my, my banged up, broken left wrist plan is we can do those kind of videos and meals coming up. So yeah, that's an adventure, but look at me just shining those cabinets and getting this kitchen all cleaned up. I have left hand envy. <laughs> And there we go. There's some sourdough pizza dough from the freezer that we also did this summer that I'm going to set into the refrigerator to start defrosting for in a couple days. And also I have dinner on this night, baked macaroni, some mystery meatloaf from Stouffer's. I have my mama dinner there. And there we go. We did it. It's not perfect, but we're eating, right? Yes and amen. All right, it's another evening, and you can see what's going down. We got fish sticks, we got tater tots, 
There they are. We also have some sweet potatoes that were done earlier that I need to put in a container. So we have some options. Also, I have these um, chicken and veggie stir fries. And surprise, surprise, more of those wonderful rice veggies, cauliflower rice from Sharp Shopper for only 99 cents. We have a thing tonight that we are going to, so we are getting the food going. Well, good afternoon, happy day. We have that sourdough pizza dough that we did this summer that's been in the freezer. It is defrosted. You know, I haven't really been cooking much and I'm looking for my dough cutter. So we'll see if we can find that. And then I was going to do this dough. Usually when I'm in a good routine of doing my big batch cooking and such, I have everything nice and organized. Here we go. Some things have been thrown around. We will have a kitchen organizing day. Like these things, they don't go in the drawer. cheeses and supplies and such. <laughs> I'm gonna also do um, these of these low carb mission wraps. That's my little THM pizza. And I have some different things of like Parmesan and then this shredded cheese. And so I have enough total for 16 personal pizzas. One bag, each of these rolls does four. This is my friend Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone's recipe. So we're just going to divide each of these into four, roll them out. We have, again, we made these, what, June, and they've been frozen all summer, and now they're going to be pizza tonight in October. And so here I am just rolling out that dough, and I'm going to divide, actually divide each pizza dough roll into four to do eight personal sourdough pizzas for this evening. And we just did a simple pizza sauce and also various shredded cheese that I had in the refrigerator. We didn't even have any pepperoni to go on these pizzas on this night and that's okay. So when I do these low carb mission wrap tortilla pizzas, I bake them like a pizza with an open face, but then because it is obviously very thin because it's a tortilla, um, once they're done baking, I fold them over kind of like a pizza pocket sandwich. And actually on this evening when I was taking the kids to an activity, I just ate those when I drove back when I used to be able to drive with two hands, haha. -ha. So we got the pizzas going, some of the low carb tortilla pizzas and then eight personal sourdough pizzas. And we have an activity this evening that I'm gonna show you the progress, the progress on what's happening out here. Okay, the laundry room, well, first off, I mean, what am I doing? We have, we have working lights. That used to be the light in the baby kitchen there. Um, the laundry room, functioning washer and dryer, the pocket door, also from the baby kitchen that we're reusing. And again, I probably said it 10 times already, but thanks for listening. There'll be shelves here and like broom holders and such here. I mean, my goodness, a whole wall here. Um, and yeah, I have some colors that I'm liking. This light works, isn't that nice? And so the um, gentleman that's here now has been doing a lot of like drywall repair and whatever all this is that he's doing. <laughs> but again, that's gonna be the wall for the TV. This is how the ceiling's looking at the moment. This is living in the middle of a construction zone, but he works so hard every day to get, we just don't come through here. Like he works hard to keep it clean because he knows we live here, but we like to get to the kitchen from the other end of the house. We go out the back door and around or out the front door and around and then come back in. You know, here, here in a few weeks, we won't have this construction in the middle. We'll be painting hopefully and turning this whole room into our wonderful, uh, exciting living room area. But these are the developments, the developments that are going on. Also heard from my painter that the shutters, the wood shutters that we ordered, oh, we also got, got this hung up, but the shutters we ordered um, that we're gonna stain to match the cedar porch post, those should be in like tomorrow. So he will be coming probably next week to get that done and I'll give you a look at that too. 
thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Head to betterhelp.com forward slash jamorell. Not only does using this link help support my channel, but you also get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp.